In this lecture, I'd like to introduce a concept called equipotential lines. Now, equipotential lines are exactly what you think they are. They're equal potential lines. And in this case, our potential being electrical potential or simply voltage. So, equal voltage lines. Now, of course, if we're talking about a different type of field, not an electric field, such as a gravitational field, we're going to talk about not electric potential, but gravitational potential. So for a gravitational field, we're going to talk about equal gravitational potential lines. But let's for the moment talk about electric field. Suppose we have an electric charge, a positive charge, and we're going to draw our lines of forces or field lines extending outward, perpendicular to our spherical point charge. Now, if we draw lines, in this case concentric circles, that are perpendicular to our field lines, to these orange lines, if we draw these blue lines, these blue lines are going to be called equipotential lines. And what that simply means, that if we put a charge on any of this equipotential line and we drag the charge around, our change in voltage will be exactly zero. And that's because on any equal potential lines, my potential, my electrical potential or voltage is equal. It's the same. And therefore, a charge that's moving on this path, on this equal potential line, will experience no change in voltage. Okay? And equal potential lines are always perpendicular to my lines of force. Now note that in this case, my lines of force end up being straight lines. But sometimes my lines of force are not straight lines. Sometimes my field lines are curved. And that's because if I place another charge close by, these lines of force will be curved. And so therefore, my equal potential lines are not always circles. They could have really any shape. They could be ovals. They could also be straight lines. And we'll see that when we talk about uh, plates or electric plates.